Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to extrude a face and shape the profile at the same time. So right now I'm just going to create a square. And then I'm just going to group it. And then multiply the squares. So we're just going to test out this tool on a different plane. So before we select the tool, we need to select the faces that we want it to extrude. So how the tapering works is you need to have a slightly slanted line perpendicularly for it to work. As you can see here, the final profile has been changed by the line that we just created. You could also do this by using two lines which are projected perpendicular to the plane. Sometimes the final profile might be slightly messed up. So you need to repair it by filling in the face by redrawing the lines. Unfortunately, table tool doesn't work properly with circles. So as you can see, it doesn't work as we expected it to work. The taper tool actually explodes the geometry that we are trying to taper before we execute the tapering and this makes it impossible to taper a circle. The reason why is because circles are made out of a bunch of lines. So in order for you to taper a circle is to basically create a perpendicular line for each and single one of the junction of the lines at the circle, which are quite impractical if you ask me. You could also create a 3D tapering by first extruding the flat profile and then you create a tapering line and then finally extrude the profile attached to the taper line. 